2015, Pope Francis called for an extraordinary jubilee year of mercy. And mercy has been a major emphasis of the pontificate of Pope Francis. And that emphasis has continued years after the jubilee year. In the bowl of indiction of the extraordinary jubilee year of mercy, Pope Francis wrote, Jesus Christ is the face of the Father's mercy. These words might well sum up the mystery of the Christian faith. Mercy has become living and visible in Jesus of Nazareth, reaching its culmination in him. The Father, rich in mercy, after having revealed his name to Moses as a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, has never ceased to show in various ways throughout history his divine nature. As Christians, we believe that mercy is not just an abstract concept, but as a face and a name. Jesus Christ, the Son of God made flesh. In the 55th chapter of the book of Isaiah, we read, Let the wicked forsake their way, and sinners their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord to find mercy, to our God, who is generous and forgiving. This turning to the Lord from wickedness and sin is the same repentance that Jesus speaks of in the Gospel of Luke, at the calling of Levi. After Jesus had healed the paralytic, he saw Levi, a tax collector, and said to him, simply follow me. It was with those simple words that Levi left everything behind and followed Jesus. He threw a banquet, and when the scribes and Pharisees saw the group of tax collectors that had gathered, they asked, why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus responded with one of my favorite lines of scripture. He said, those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. This repentance in Greek is metanoia, a conversion, a literal turning of oneself to God that is essential for the Christian life. It is in this conversion, this turning to God, that is not a one-time act, but a constant repentance, where we experience the infinite mercy of God. God knows that we aren't perfect, that we're prone to sin, that we fall, but he always makes available his infinite mercy. St. Vincent Pallotti reflected upon the unity of mercy and justice that exists within God. He said, God nourishes me mercifully with his justice and completely destroys my injustices with their most horrendous consequences. The mercy of God can be described as that which makes God let the sun shine over the good and the evil. It is our repentance, our metanoia, that not only helps us to turn to God to receive mercy from the God who is mercy and justice, but that also helps us to be more merciful to those around us. We can look to Jesus' response to the Pharisees and scribes to understand how we can internalize and reflect upon mercy. Mercy on a human level isn't a one-way street. When we receive mercy from someone whom we have wronged, we do so with the acknowledgement that we are fallen. That as St. Vincent Pallotti said, we have been unjust towards God, our neighbor, and ourself. In those moments, we are the sick person in need of a physician. His mercy is our medicine that strengthens us for our metanoia. On the other hand, we cannot look at those who seek mercy from us and from God as the other who is the sick person and see ourselves in a new light as one who is healthy and does not need a physician. We are all the sick person in need of the divine physician who is mercy itself. God is rich in mercy. It overflows from him in great abundance and Jesus is the face of love and mercy. We must remember that Jesus, the divine physician, came for us who are sick. He offers healing and forgiveness, but not so that we may see ourselves as healthy and not in need of continually receiving and sharing mercy, but as one who constantly and graciously seeks the one who is mercy itself. It is when we share in God's mercy that we can truly be just to God, our brother, and ourself. Let us forsake our wicked ways and our sinful thoughts. Let us turn to the Lord to find mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving.